I'm back, motherfucker! I'm back! All of this fucking solitary confinement shit got me back. Bad times. And all around us was crumbling. And all those have quit. That's when you know who the fuck you are. I got another four miles to go before I sleep. What the hell are we all waiting for to start attacking life? We're waiting for the fucking stars to align? Back when I was growing up, the song came out. All I need is a miracle. Well, guess what? That miracle ain't coming. There is no perfect time to start. You gotta start now with changing your life. We're all being tested in life. And guess what? This is one test you can't cheat on. We all have our own test. Some of us are obese. Some of us are depressed. Some of us are insecure. In the military, we have this big old rucksack on the back. Had batteries, water, extra gear. Your extra gear is the shit you're dealing with in life. And the only way to overcome it is for you and you alone to face it. You have to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, guess what you got to do? You got to suck it the fuck up and do it. Stay hard. I'd rather you hate me and get better than like me and stay the same. A lot of us are full of shit. I was one of those people back in the fucking day. And sometimes I'm still full of shit. We think that we're working our ass off, working hard. You know, we've been working out hard in the gym for a month. But we haven't seen any results. So we get all fucking down in poopy pants and shit. You study for 30 minutes for a fucking test. And you didn't do as well as you thought. What the fuck did you expect? You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of shit, man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm not working everybody. I'm doing more. It's not until then, once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. Stay hard. Think about how many years, months, hours, seconds, days, all that shit. You have wasted on people who suck the fucking life out of you. Today's a good day for you to go through and shit can those motherfuckers. Shit can those motherfuckers who only call you when they fucking need something. Shit can those motherfuckers who can't get over shit. Who continue to bring up shit from the past. Who can't move forward. Life is short. Life is precious. Spend that time with the people you love, the people you want to give that time to, real friends, real family, everybody else, they're just sucking up the air you breathe. You need that motherfucker to be hard. Stay hard. So you know, if you've ever gone to the mall, there's this store called Build-A-Bear. And all these little kids are in that store trying to build the bear, the perfect bear that they want. Take it home, be happy. Yeah, I'm talking about build a fucking bear right now. So we have the same tools to do that with our own personal lives. But what happens is the quitting mind comes in. We have to find our new norm. A new norm is something like this. When I was going through SEAL training, it's only supposed to be six months. I was there for 18 fucking months. Kept on getting set back and set back and set back. You gotta change your mindset to know my whole job now is at four o'clock in the morning I get the shit kicked out of me for 18 months. You gotta create that new norm. That has to be your lifestyle. You are the master of your own mind. Create that masterpiece. Be proud of yourself at the very end of it all. When I was going through ranger school, we had to do a lot of spot checks. A spot check is basically, uh, we don't have time to get all your gear laid out to make sure you have all your shit. So a spot check is maybe they'll check out two items. Maybe making sure you have your extra batteries, extra ammo, whatever it may be. The whole idea of a spot check is to make sure that you're staying squared away. Because you don't know what kind of item they're going to check on. So how does that apply to your life? This is how it applies. You want to make sure you spot check yourself. Make sure you stay dialed in at all times. It's also important to check your know, spot check your boys, your girls, 
Make sure that they're staying hard. Call them up in the middle of the night. Give them a call and say, hey, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, we're going to fucking get after it. Make sure they're staying dialed in. There's so many times in life you don't want to be doing what the fuck you're doing. You can't just fucking quit. And remember this. It's in the hobby. It's in the fucking joke. It's a fucking lifestyle. So what you say to yourself is important. There's no fucking coach. There's no trainer to keep you going. It's only you. So think about this. You've been working your whole life to get a fucking seat at the table. The seat at the table is going to be the best amongst all the best people in your fucking career field. So you finally get that leather. It's steak, lobster. It's a big dinner. Everybody's showing up, dressed to the nines. Make sure you show up soaking wet for fucking getting after it, working out hard. Towel around your neck. You respect the event. So make sure you put that towel over that nice chair so you don't fuck it up. The whole thing is this. Don't say a word. Stay uncommon amongst uncommon people. You're never done. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Stay hard. I get a lot of questions about how I lost so much weight. Um, people want to know how they can get started. So basically, you're thinking too much off the bat. When I lost my fucking weight, I didn't look for a trainer. I didn't do all that thinking. I didn't go on Jenny Craig. I didn't do all that shit. What I did was I basically stopped eating so much fucking food. I cut my calories down. So as far as the workout goes, we overthink that also. Until you find a trainer, go out there and start fucking walking. Put some shoes on, start running. Go to the gym, do the elliptical trainer. It's not rocket science. A lot of folks talk about overtraining. You gotta train first before you can overtrain. Sometimes you wake up in the morning time and you're sore and you feel like you're overtrained. No, you got sore fucking legs. Get out of your own head and stop overthinking it. Stay hard. So, I get an email the other day. This young man wants to be a ranger. But he's afraid to go to ranger school. Not because how hard the training is, but because he's afraid if he fails, what people are gonna say by judging him. One thing in life, this applies to everything in life. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're gonna judge you. And nowadays, it's very easy to be a fucking coward. Why? We've got Instagram and shit. Most folks don't tell you to your face. They go online, they post about like cowards. Don't let cowards get in your fucking head. And last thing, make sure you do you. Stay hard. So when I first joined the Navy, I had to join the reserves because I couldn't get into active duty because I was so fat. So being a reservist, I got titled a lot of times as a weekend warrior. In the reserves, you work one weekend a month, two weeks a year. A lot of us live our lives that way. We can't work out without purpose. We need to get into our dress for the wedding. Summertime's coming, so we want to look all good. Our high school reunion's coming up, so we gotta lose weight. The biggest purpose in life isn't all that shit. It's how you respect yourself, how you look at yourself. That's an everyday fucking journey. So every day you should be getting after it. We look at determination, self-discipline. We look at hard work. All these terms is almost like we dread them. It was like a fucking punishment. Those are the biggest words of all time as far as respecting yourself. So don't look at them as dread and punishment. Look at those words as a lifestyle. Stay hard. So what's your fucking excuse? Is it too cold where you live? Is it too hot where you live? Does it rain too fucking much? Now it's time for some real fucking talk. Maybe you're the only black person applying for a fucking job. Maybe you're the only female. Maybe you're the only fucking gay person. Job, whatever the fuck it may be. Maybe that shit's in your fucking head. Maybe that's your excuse for not being better. Life's a real big fucking picture. When I was young, all those things got in my head. Black, fucking not smart enough, single mom, all that bullshit owns space in my head. If you're allowing people and things and situations to own space in your fucking head, you're losing. Last thing, life's one big fucking head game. You play with yourself. If you lose, it's because you allow life to get in your fucking head. Stay hard. Whether you like it or not, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, 
lot of us are at war with ourselves. And within that war, we have several battles. Those battles are basically choices. No, I'm not talking about a war that you might find in the Coliseum. I'm talking about a war that's in your brain. That war exists because life has so many choices. Within those choices, you gotta make right decisions. But you know what? Fuck that. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you have to wake up. Don't wake up, don't worry about that. When you're in school, you know what? Fuck that, man. It's too hard to step. So don't study. You know what? You don't eat healthy because you don't have to. So guess what? When you fail, don't blame your mom, don't blame your dad, don't blame teachers. My person to blame is yourself. People want to know how to get permanent, lasting results. It's just not easy. Some folks go from heavy to losing weight back to heavy. Some folks go from lazy to studs back to lazy. The list goes on and on and on. A lot of folks take the four-lane highway to get their results. The four-lane highway is just that, it's the easy route. On that highway, they have road signs. Five miles up, hotel. 10 miles up, restaurant. Restaurants, all that shit. It's the easy road map to success. Nothing there is permanent. But the other choice that makes permanent is the shuffle. That fucking shuffle leaves you with calluses on your brain, on your hands. They're permanent. Pick up the shuffle, stay hard. A lot of you are trying to find inspiration and motivation with a depressed mindset. You're depressed because you're not doing shit with yourself. You don't find inspiration by not living in the grip of life. You need to live in the grip of life to find inspiration. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. If some of you aren't doing shit, you're 10% you're just getting off the fucking couch. The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. Find yourself in the grip of life. You can't find yourself by doing nothing. So this morning, I was giving a go for a run with a few guys. So I was taking my shirt off and they saw my stress marks. And one guy asked me, where the fuck you get those stress marks from? So I had to share with this guy where all this scarring was. That was 297 pounds, insecure, had doubts, had a fucked up, just a fucked up mind. So there's a lot of scars we have in our bodies that people can see. And they tell a story. But a lot of us have scars in our brains about fucked up lives, bad childhoods, bad adulthood, whatever the fuck you're going through. Those scars in your brain, we don't talk about. We hide. Scarring is proof that our past is real. But the one thing we do is we allow to control our lives. And we get off the log. Well, it's time to get back on the log and not have those scars define the rest of your fucking life. Sometimes you gotta fight pain with pain. Stay hard. I got a question. How do you transform yourself from ordinary? The first thing you gotta do is the exact opposite of everybody else. I own a bulldog. I've owned lots of dogs in my lifetime. But I've never seen a dog eat like this. You put the food down, she buries her face in the bowl and attacks it. Never looks up. So I was worried about it. So I called the breeder. I asked the breeder, what's up with this shit? She says, yes. As puppies, there's limited food. So they attack it. They're afraid they won't eat. So I figured she'd outgrow it. Six years later, she got her own bowl. Refrigerated full of food. But her mentality is the exact same. She acts like there's 20 fucking puppies out there trying to steal her food. And you get that kind of mentality, you'll be successful. Stay hard. The mind's a medieval motherfucker. It's constantly fighting against you. It's the only thing in the history of the fucking world that shows up on time, every time. It has the tactical advantage over you. It knows your fears. It knows your insecurities. It knows everything about you. It might be the only thing in that world 
that knows all about you. You got to know about it. It's going to show up when you don't want to show up. It's going to show up at the worst time possible when you want to be successful. It's going to say, take the easy road. Take the easy way out. You got to learn your brain like your brain has learned you. It's 44 degrees and it's nice and rainy outside. But no one cares about that. It's not about the rain. It's what the rain represents. Life is always giving you a test. Trying to give you a way out. Trying to give you an excuse not to show up. This is my excuse today. But guess what? You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life. Prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you. It's your responsibility to find your new 100%. Take it upon yourself to do that. Stay hard. This is all about the quitting mind. So what's the quitting mind? So let's say it's day one of a job interview. We all know what that fucking shit feels like. You have your clothes laid out. You got your fucking food ready to go in the morning. You've been preparing for weeks and weeks and weeks. You show up and you bring your best self. You get the fucking job. Merry fucking Christmas. All right. After a couple months, you start showing up to work a little later. You don't look as good. Your clothes aren't fucking laid out. Your breakfast isn't ready. Your mind's getting softer. We do that shit with everything in life. When New Year's coming up, guess what? Don't have a fucking quitting mind. Repetition every day. Stay hard. This young man, he's working with his counselor, trying to find his why. So he emails me. He wants my opinion. Well, here it is. Trying to find your why is another way of procrastinating, taking fucking action. So, the question does not end with why. It starts with why. Why the fuck don't you want to be in better shape? Why the fuck don't you want to be a better fucking student? Why don't you want to be more successful? So this is something I can say, and your counselor can't because he might get fired. Maybe you can't find your why because you're lazy. Maybe you can't find your why because you have zero fucking ambition. Regardless, you need to go out here and find it. Stay hard. I got about five o'clock. I woke up and saw you chilling out and shit. <laughs> saw the fucking dog all fucking hung over from treats and shit. I thought to myself, that fucking dog is lucky we feed it about myself. I got to feed myself. And every foot strike that hits the pavement, that's how I feed myself. Motherfuckers look for inspiration. Inspiration is found in every footstep you take, every grasp of that fucking iron bar. All that shit, all the miles in the pool. Inspiration's found in suffering. So right now, this is my greatest recovery. As I recover, I find inspiration. Stay hard. So I got an email the other day from a hockey player. He's like, hey Goggins, I tore my Achilles. He was all upset. He said, what do you do for setbacks? I said, those setbacks are nothing but character builders. He was all upset, man. I said, don't be upset about that shit. It's done. Your Achilles is fucking torn. Nothing you can do about it. But there's one thing you can do, though. If a shit goes wrong, apply pressure to it. Ask the gods of the world, is this all you have? Can you give me some more? Put some fucking hate on that motherfucker. Put some grind on it. Keep on moving. Stay hard. So two guys 
Ask me to help you train for a marathon. Oh, but they picked a shitty day to train. It's 40 degrees. Rainy, windy, nasty. Those cats are inside the treadmill. You can't let conditions dictate your outcome. They believe that if it rains or snows or it's too windy, they may cancel the fucking marathon. They ain't canceling shit. You better train with whatever conditions they fucking give you. The person that usually fucking feels me, she's taking a day off the car right now. Because it's too nasty. Don't do the same. Stay hard.